Hey everyone, it's Lexi, aka the Gluten Free Gal. Today we are making pizzas because who doesn't love some pizza? When it comes to gluten free pizza, a lot of times I can't eat pizza out because they cook them with regular pizzas, so there's cross contamination happening. If you watched my video from two weeks ago, you'll remember that people with celiac disease can't eat anything that's been cross contaminated. My husband and I are the kind of people that like to just make our own pizzas at home. I have tried different gluten-free pizzas and pizza crusts from the store and there's some pretty decent ones out there. But my all-time favorite is making my own crust from scratch because I have a quick, easy, and delicious recipe. It's also keto-friendly if I have any keto followers out there. So keep watching for the full recipe and details. In a small bowl, add one ounce of cream cheese and one and a half cups of mozzarella cheese. Then you'll want to stick that in the microwave and cook it in 30 second increments and stir in between. After about a minute you should get this creamy consistency. Then you'll want to head to the blender and put in that cheese mixture with a half a cup of almond flour, three tablespoons of coconut flour, and one egg. Turn that mixer on and mix until it's well combined. Spray a piece of parchment paper, then put your dough on it and spray another piece to put on top so that you can work with the dough and make the crust whatever kind of shape and size you want. Then flip it onto a sheet pan and stick it in the oven at 425 for about 5 minutes. Once the crust gets a little brown, take it out and put whatever sauce and toppings you want on it. I'm keeping it simple today with just cheese. Stick it back in for another five minutes and I like to broil mine to cook the top a little more. And there you have it, a quick, easy, and delicious gluten-free pizza crust. See, I told you guys it was easy. In less than 20 minutes, you have a yummy gluten-free pizza ready. That's less than a pizza delivery time. Just saying. I love this crust because it has great texture and flavor. It can also go with any kind of sauces or toppings that you're wanting. But it also tastes great simply with just some cheese like I made in my video. Let me know if you guys tried it and liked it and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on a video every Monday.